Good morning and welcome to the Firekeepers Casino 400 today. We have some very special guests up front with us. We have Kathy George, the CEO of Firekeepers Casino. We have Detroit Lions head coach Matt Patricia, who is our Grand Marshal for the day. And we have Detroit Red Wings legend Darren McCarty, who is driving our pace car. We'll start off with uh, Kathy. You have a special anniversary coming up uh, this year. Can you talk a little bit about that? We do. We're looking forward to our 10th anniversary coming up in August. So we've been uh, serving the people of the area for 10 great years and look forward to doing it for many more to come. What are you looking forward to today for a race day and what does this mean to Firekeepers to be out here? You know, we're proud to be great to be sponsors of this great race. You know, the Nottawaseppe here on Band of the Potawatomi and the Firekeepers Casino Hotel are just uh, glad to be great partners with NASCAR and Michigan International Speedway. And it's great to have everybody come out to the casino, but also see people from across the world uh, see the race today. Coach, you've been to some other racetracks before. What makes you such a huge fan of NASCAR? Yeah, um, you know, first of all, just uh, so appreciative to be here and, and want to thank, uh, you know, everyone involved with, with having myself and my family out uh, to the race today. We're really excited. Um, huge NASCAR fans. Um, I think uh, obviously just fell in love with many aspects of it. Um, two things that are just so really cool to me about uh, NASCAR in and of itself with my engineering background, um, a lot of the, uh, you know, aerodynamics and the, uh, you know, the horsepower and all the just engineering stuff uh, that goes in behind the cars, I, I just find fascinating. All the details of, of what they do to go out and compete uh, just really is, you know, it's, it's just truly interesting. And then, um, you know, the other part of it that's so amazing to me is, is uh, race day in and of itself. It's really kind of foreign to me from an aspect of, um, you know, just, you can go out and you can see the cars. We're just, you know, a couple inches away from a couple cars, you know, just now and meeting the drivers. And, you know, in, in my world on game day, uh, you're not getting close to any of the players or coaches. And we're in our locker room and kind of all by ourselves. And I just think the access is amazing, you know, just really where NASCAR opens up the doors to uh, allow the fans to have that kind of up close uh, personal kind of contact on, on race day is pretty amazing. Thank you. Darren, what are you looking forward to at MIS this, this morning and what's your experience been like so far? Oh, it's unbelievable. Um, I'm one of those guys, not like Matt, no engineering degree. I know where the gas tank is, and that's about it. Uh, but uh, no, the thing is, is that since I've been retired, I really, I come from, honestly, a guy that thought it was just a driver making left turns until the fact that I moved down to Florida, and my buddy Ronnie from Virginia, who's a huge Danny Hamlin fan, started to explain to me, sit down and watch this, and got into how the correlation of what we did on the in the hockey rink and and Matt saying that because he worked for Bill Belichick and I worked for Scotty Bowman and they would never have it. It blows me away, like Matt said, the fact that you can go talk to the drivers, the crew, you know, as they're getting ready for like a big race and that's just like nobody's allowed near anybody like Super Bowl week, let alone you know in the playoffs. So. Uh, I think just the atmosphere and everything coming to fruition. For me, I'm a kid at heart, like learning this sport like I did anything else. And I don't want to go fast. Let's get it right. Anybody who knows me, I live my life that I'm good. Pace car speed's perfect for me. And to be here with fire keepers is a huge point because what I, lo I love is the relationship that I have with them. Because as Kathy said, it's the people on this side of the state that I don't think you know, but in Battle Creek, is is there about the experience and what it's about and the fact that some people like to gamble and go there is one thing, but it's the relationships that you build and that's what Michigan's about to me and I'm just honored and proud to, this is bucket list for me, so thank you everybody involved and uh, I'm stoked. We'll take some questions. If you raise your hand, we'll get a mic to you. We'll start right here with David Gergi. Hey, man, have you talked to uh, Joe Gibbs today? I have not seen uh, Coach Gibbs uh, yet today. We just got to the track, but, um, you know, looking forward to running in with him and having a great conversation with him. He's an unbelievable guy and uh, obviously someone that's been able to be, uh, you know, have the most success at, in two different sports at the professional level. It's pretty amazing. Rob Tiantz of thepodyfinish.net. This question goes to Matt and to Darren. Um, taking it, is this one of your first NASCAR experiences? Have you done some research as to which drivers you're looking to um, pull for, or, or do you find any like drivers that are similar to your personalities that you're going to be watching today? Well, I'll give you one thing about the great thing about NASCAR, right? Is my two favorite drivers are Brad Keselowski and Kyle Busch, who hate each other, I think, and and they have two different styles of racing, right? So people. 
bought, you know, asked me, well, how can you Kyle Bush? And I said, dude, that kid's a wheel, man, from trucks to cars, whatever else. And he's and he's a winner. And Brad Kozowski being from Michigan and followed him, met him, just uh, everything you want in somebody that, you, like a, the, the family man, the winner, the professional. So I think that every guy, there's not a guy in this sport, you can't hate a guy. In football, you can hate guys. Hockey, you can hate guys. It's hard to hate guys in this sport. So... Um, to me, it's just being able to be around these guys and to see them. And I mean, we're, I get it to be a fan. I'm, I, I'm a fan. This is one of this and golf now are my, my things and, you know, things I don't know anything about. So I'm going to learn about it. Right. Yeah, no doubt. We were just over with, uh, Eric Emeril and his family and, uh, you know, he came up to, um, uh, practice a couple weeks ago and, and kind of, you know, I extended the offer to come out to the race today. So just great guy, you know, great family, and uh, just real appreciative of him, uh, you know, doing that for us. So uh, just excited to get out there. I mean, all the drivers, you know, that's why I said it's so interesting when you, uh, you know, it's, it's race day, and, and any of the drivers that you meet, they come up, they say hello, they ask you how you're doing, and I just I can't get over the fact that, you know, they're about to jump in the car and, and, and go race today. So just real appreciative of all of them. But, Coach, isn't it because, like, You'd say in football and, and hockey, uh, it's not uh, something where, yeah, your life's sort of on the line, but you're not have to worry about. And then these guys do all this and, you know, everything. And then, oh, yeah, I'm going to go drive it 200 miles an hour, and there's a chance that, you know, I could lose my life. That's yeah. the, the crazy part. Hey, guys, see you in, a, see you in 400 laps. Yeah. <laughs> go right in front here. George Poley, the Macomb Daily. Darren, I think we just a couple of days ago passed the anniversary of your goal against the Flyers. Um, 22 years later, tell us what the impact of that moment was on your career and life, and, and just a, a comment on how Detroit fans have reacted to you since. Well, there's no secret that um, and it's more of a life secret that I, the people of Michigan, give me the source of strength as I've sort of given you. Um, 22 years ago on Friday, I beat one guy one-on-one -on -one my whole career, and then it was all timing. But what I, the thing that I realized is that I remember after we won and Stevie going, no matter what, we can't, they're not going to take it from us. We share this no matter where we go. And they stick a mic in your face. They go, how do you feel? You just won. And then all you think back is what it took to get there. 22 years later, now you can sort of take that Goodyear blimp look at the whole situation and go, wow, I not only did that, but all these people. And it's more of an appreciation and something that we did together. So me now, it's more that we share it. And then, for example, the Russian Five just came out, the Russian Five movie. It, it, things like that, which we keep the history, the culture and stuff going on. And uh, you know, I'm so proud. I get to do things like this now because of that goal, I would think. We'll take two more questions. First one over here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Matt, I, I know that Eric uh, Almarola came out to press day. I uh, was very impressed with the players. If uh, is, Did he offer you a hot lap experience in the car? And if he did, would you go on one? Um, I would definitely jump in the car. I love it. You know, I mean, I'm all about speed, so let's get in there and go. I uh, didn't get the offer here extended yet today, but uh, see if we can work on that. No, it was great. He came out. We... Um, he actually got a chance to watch practice, uh, and we um, put a helmet on him at the end of practice, made him catch a couple punts just to see how he could do that. So uh, that was how do you do? He actually did a really good job. You know, that's hard. That's a hard thing to do. Missed a couple, I think, to begin with, and then I uh, got the hang of it. So did he make a left turn? It was pretty cool. Yeah, he got left and got upfield pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a last question up here. Matt, uh, just your general wrap up of, of mini camp and. and um, the expectations of Slay and Harrison being in training camp, is that something you can comment on? Sure. Um, you know what, I mean, I think I've commented on all that stuff so far through the course of the week and where we are. Um, we're excited to be out of practice. Uh, you know, the guys are heading into week four of, of on-field sessions. We've uh, just completed week three of practice, which is great. You know, during the off-season, it's always hard to kind of, um, you know, you go out there, you're doing drills, you're running and you're lifting until you finally get on the field and get into those team settings and get into those individual drills and those fundamental work. Um, you know, that's where the, the team starts to come come to life. So uh, we're excited. We're just, you know, happy to be out there, get another good week under our belt, and then uh, we'll be back for training camp and we'll be rolling. Thanks a lot, everybody. If we can have you three